Any tips for small streamers? There you go. That's a good one. Um, I think uh, the thing is, like, with streaming, I'm a little less, like, like, I don't know. Like, obviously, I was able to do well streaming because of my YouTube. Um, but I would say that it, it's kind of similar in that, like, don't rely on one thing. Like, if you're streaming, you should be promoting your stream on TikTok and, I don't know, any, anywhere you can. You should be promoting it in, you know, in, like, YouTube highlights and all these different clips and stuff. You should be taking every opportunity you can to get anyone to see you because obviously it's very, it's very hard when you're small to have people see you um, or see your stream. And so just trying to take every opportunity you possibly can to get eyes on you is good. Always raid people, you know, never miss out on an opportunity to make, make you know, build relationships. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, like Tommy and Tubbo met through a raid. So always raid people. Um, and usually, I would say usually rate somebody smaller than you, maybe around your size, maybe a little, a little bit bigger than you maybe, but yeah, I don't know. That's kind of the best, best, best tips I can give. Um, you know, keep at it. Don't give up manhunt with the telly tubbies. Oh, that's actually, that's how we've actually been working on that. You know, I, I, I didn't tell anybody about that, but we have, we have that's manhunt versus the telly tubbies soon. Are you religious? That's, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not like, I'm not, I'm, well, I'm not, I, w I guess I wouldn't say I'm religious because that'd be like disingenuous, but I don't know. I've always been like very, I, I, I mean, I think like probably agnostics the best way, the best way to describe it. Like I've always just been very like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, like I don't know like, how, how are things like when you go back to the beginning of the universe and stuff, it's like, there's just like a big bang and it's like, where did, what was before that? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I've always just been very like, I've, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't really think about it too much. Um, but I, but yeah, I, I, I would definitely, I wouldn't classify myself in any religion or anything, but I, I would think like, I don't know. I feel like there, you know, there could be, there could be like a God or a creator or something. Maybe there, you know, there couldn't be, I don't know. I, I just, I feel like we don't really know. We don't really know. We don't really know a lot. I feel like people that are that are like really like really like there's no god or or kind of like I don't know like I, it's it's kind of weird like you don't really like nobody really knows anything like we we're so we're so small we're now getting like existential or whatever we're so small in like the universe like we don't how we don't know anything we we hardly even know about like our only our, our own solar system like how are we supposed to know about like where we came from I don't know I have no idea. I'm always I always, I, lo I like talking about stuff like that sometimes though, cause it's just kind of kind of cool, I guess. If you could visit anywhere, where would you go? That's kind of a good question. Um, hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like there's so many good options, like to where where you could go. I know there's a lot of places that I really do want to go. Um, I mean, I but I honestly, I really want to go like everywhere. Like, I feel like there's not really a country that there's not there's not really a country that i that i that i'd be like oh no i don't want to go there like i'd, I'd really i'd probably want to go anywhere and just see it just see everything when you were a kid what was your dream job i feel like i've talked about this kind of before i, feel, I had a i had a couple different jobs that i that i really wanted to do like i've always i mean to be fair i have always wanted to be like a youtuber like i've always wanted to be a youtuber since i was like a kid but i also there was a there was a point in time where i wanted to be an author and i really i really really wanted to be like an author um, that was, that was for a long time. I was like, I'm going to be an author. I'm going to grow up. I'm going to be an author and I'm going to release the, the, the most amazing books. Um, but probably the, those were probably my top two for a while. It was, um, like when I was a kid, like when I was like a teenager, I probably, it shifted a little bit. It was, it was still, <laughs> it was still author. Um, but it was like author and like developer, um, and that was just, you know, that was kind of what my, my kind of opinion shifted. But yeah, like I said, I've, always wanted, I've kind of always wanted to be a YouTuber. So I mean, I used to like talk at the dinner table with like my family about like the recent stuff that's like on YouTube and like, oh, it's so cool. They will do this and like they get this many views and and just all this stuff just about YouTube. It was a lot, I remember I remember talking about Mr. Beast. A lot. It's kind of funny, but I remember specific conversations where I was like, "Oh, he gave away like he did this like 
he gave away like this much where they're like they're like how is he able to do that i'm like i think I, like it's just like youtube like he's just like taking all his money from youtube and just like investing into it or whatever i remember i remember i remember talking about that um would you ever release an album yeah i mean i could see myself releasing an album but i mean it wouldn't be anytime soon obviously i mean but i don't know it just really depends on like how i'm feeling and how things go i guess I'm really liking right now, just kind of working on music now and then, you know. It's a lot of fun. So many weird questions. I guess Sapnap lost his bones. Would you still love him? Like, what, what does that even mean? <laughs> How do you lose your bones? What? Um, favorite soup. Oh, that's a good question. This is... There was a period in time. I, I would say it's not now. It is not now. I haven't had this soup in a long time. You guys are going to be like, ew. There was a long period where I, I loved clam chowder. Clam chowder, I was like, oh, clam chowder, it's so good. Like, and I had it like a lot. But I'd probably say, um, what, probably, probably just like broccoli cheddar or something. I mean, even just like simple chicken noodle is really good. Um, the most recent soup that I've had is just chicken noodle, so... Do you believe in aliens? There has to be aliens. Come on. There has to be aliens. Like, there's like, what, trillions of planets or something? I don't even know. More than that. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like, there's way, way, there has to be aliens. Like, I think it's like, it's like, it's like a, we, like a ridiculous position to think that there's not aliens. Like, there's no way. There's no way. Like, oh, we're like the only planet out of all of the, like, the odds of that, like, that's that's way that's way higher than like seven point whatever trillion. <laughs> there's no way. There's no. I, there's 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 no chance. There's no chance. There's got to be no chance. I mean, come on. There's like there, like really, out of all of the planets, there's no way. There's so many. If you could tell your younger self something, what would it be? Um. Depends what age we're talking. It would, it would definitely vary by age of, of what I would tell myself. Um, it would definitely it would vary a lot. It would vary a lot. At sixteen was a pretty like rough time in my life. I probably I, if it was sixteen, I'd probably say like, you know, like it's all gonna be okay or something. But if it was like thirteen, I'd probably say something about like I don't know com computer or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like, don't. Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea, actually. I'm so excited to hear Mask when it finally comes out. What has the process been like making it? Um, it's been very, 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 very different than Road Trip. Um, I mean, I've like we even just like the last couple of days, even like we've sat in calls, like literally me and me and me and like Parish, like we'll sit there for like nine hours or something ridiculous and we're just like we'll just try like oh i want to try this and then and then i'll you know I'll, I'll do vocal takes and stuff and then we put it in and then we're like ah eh, let's let's see we'll listen to it we'll listen to it a bunch ah we don't really like it let's just scrap that oh well let's try this then let's try this let's try this and just like different places and more like it's been kind of like done for the last like three weeks or so or something but it but like we've been wanting to like add stuff and like add vocal layering and add like ad lib something sort of and and certain things that like make it make it more interesting add more instruments add different like i don't know add little things to make it catchier and so it's very like it's very just trying different things and then like and then just going and listening to it like we'll add like a couple different things and then i'll go and like listen to it before i go to bed or something and be like eh, and then i'll come back and be like oh let's try this 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 and this let's remove these two let's add this one whatever um yeah, it's definitely, it's been a lot, it's been a lot more time consuming this time. I spent a lot more time actually, I don't know, actually like working on the song myself and um, putting time into it and putting the actual, you know, putting time into the vocals and stuff. So I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And it has a lot of meaning. Um, the music video, like the music, the animated music video has been being worked on and um, that should be done in... Um, done before done soon so which one do you like better mask or road trip mask i mean I, li I like mask a lot better but i i think it is just it's just i don't know 
it's more it's more me and it's more like me actually putting a lot more of my creativity into it and stuff than with road trip um because i had no idea anything when when you know whenever we were making road trip like i've never i've never really done anything with like music um like i've i've written so it's like i kind of have that experience like a lot of songwriters when they write they'll write like a poem and then turn it into um and then turn it into a song and that's kind of what i did um with uh that's what i did with mask but um with road trip it was it was it was like uh parker that that did that um and it was me you know relaying information and me relaying what i want to say and how i want to say it and stuff so i think it's 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 a different experience and i i like it how do you cope with the mentality of knowing that so many people know you do you ever struggle with derealization stuff um i don't i mean i, I don't know i i feel like i i feel like i handle it pretty well um i don't know i mean i i don't i don't really i don't i definitely don't struggle with uh derealization de de um and i feel like it's i don't know i i try and I, I try and keep myself grounded in that like i'm you know i'm even though yeah I, like i yeah i have a following and stuff like i'm just another i'm just another person um in reality and so it's like I don't know. I just try and keep myself grounded in that. And I don't really, I don't think about that too much. Um, yeah, I try and think about more of like the effect than, um, you know, the number of people or if that makes any sense. So like, I, str I stress more about like, is what I'm doing now or is what I'm going to do in the future or is what I'm doing, whatever, what effect is that having on people? you know, that, um, that follow me, you know, is it making their life better? Is it making it worse? Is it going to make them a better person in the future? Um, that's the type, that's the type of stuff that I kind of stress about sometimes, but I don't, I don't struggle with the, the amount of people with all the stuff that's been going on. How do you deal with the anxiety it gives you? Um, I don't know. I feel like anxiety is really tough. Like I, I don't, I don't really I don't experience that much anxiety like normally, but I, I do sometimes when it's like, obviously when there's like thousands of people that are saying something or, or tens of thousands or whatever, and it sometimes can be overwhelming. Um, well, whether, whether it's positive or negative, sometimes it can be overwhelming. Um, and so that, I, I don't know. I mean, a lot of times I, I just kind of like, just kind of, again, try and like ground myself. I just try and, you know, <laughs> we're happy to here again. Um, I just try and like, take a break not really take a break but like sit back and um i don't know just realize that it you know it'll pass and whatever it is i think that's that's something that's kind of helpful if you could relive one moment in your life which would you choose that's a that's like a deep question because i don't know i feel like if it's something if it's like recent I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of moments. God, all of these questions are gonna like make me cry thinking about it. I already was earlier a little bit, but it's deep. That's deep. Then I start thinking about all these like good moments, and then I start like getting upset. Uh you have a very unique and beautiful laugh. Who in the S and P do you think has the funniest laugh? Ah, uh, that's a that's a. I laugh at my own laugh. Like I'll start laughing and then I'll just laugh at the fact that I'm laughing and then I'll laugh because my laugh gets like louder and then I'll keep laughing. I like, laugh at myself. Um, but I don't know. Other than me, I think, I, George's is pretty, George's is pretty good. Especially when George like really gets into it, he starts like, you can just like, you can like totally he, like, he's like freaking out while he laughs. Like it makes me laugh because he's just like, He'll be like, I don't know. I'm trying to. I mean, it could be like an example. He's like, he'll be like, ha, 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 like I don't know if that <laughs> if that makes sense, but like, in like a, obviously like in a natural way, so it doesn't sound forced. But like he does that. That's what he does. He like he'll start laughing or whatever, and then like, boom, like this like kind of high pitched like laugh. I don't know. I think it's funny.